How many kids do you have? We have two boys um, and five grands. Five grandkids? Yep. How young are the grandkids or what are their ages? Oh boy, you would ask me that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think my oldest grandson is 23, 24. Okay. My oldest granddaughter, she's, I believe, 26. And the younger one, two boys, um, they're about 21, eight, 20 or 21, I'm not sure. With Father's Day coming up here, uh, what advice would you give to new fathers? It sounds like an easy question to answer, <laughs> but it really isn't. I would say as your child grows up, if they want to have a conversation with you, listen to them. You may not agree uh, with what they say. Uh, listen to them, talk to them. They, They'll respect it. Show that interest. Yeah, show that interest. And, Absolutely. Uh, you'll be rewarded in the long run. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular Father's Day that sticks out for you and kind of a memory from, from a Father's Day in particular? They were all good. It's just kind of a blessing to be a father, isn't it? Definitely, and to have had a great father. What I call a great father. Absolutely. Yeah, it is a blessing. Being a father is a tremendous responsibility. I always assume in most families, everyone says, mom, this, mom. Now, mom is important, don't get me wrong. But that seems to be pushed off to the side, or I feel it seems <laughs> like it, you know. But uh, it's an awesome responsibility. And your, your, your children, uh, whether they're girls or boys, they will tend to emulate you. Mm -hmm. So you have to set up a decent example. Absolutely. And, which I believe I did with my sons and they're doing with their children, setting up that good example, mm -hmm. being fair and honest. Uh, sometimes you have to put your foot down and tell them, no, no, you can't do that or you can't go there now. Mm -hmm. That's not always easy or fun No, to it's do. not easy. Um, the, you know, the child will get a little upset about it, but if you've been fair and reasonable with them, they'll see later on, well, I guess Dad was right. Yeah. Uh, he was right. <laughs> I get that now. My sons are, are, are senior citizens, are approaching senior citizenship, and they recognize that. Mm -hmm. So Dad was kind of strict, but he made sense. Yeah, <laughs> we know. turned out all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I just wish my wife were here uh, to uh, witness what they've become. And the grandkids. And the grandkids. Right. But, uh, that's all a part of life, too. What's like your favorite memory of being a father? What were some of the things you did with your kids growing up? You know, much of what I did with them, especially when they were toddlers and, and uh, somewhat beyond before we became adults. So mm -hmm. I found that I was doing many things that my father did with us. On Sunday was their day, into the car while we went. Sure. Most of the time I didn't know where I was going. Just get in the car and go. Just quality time together. Just quality time together. Um, as a matter of fact, they, they, um, they tend to say, well, Dad, remember? And I had forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> they say, remember this and had a great time, which made me feel good. Absolutely, which but they have those good. memories to share with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Happy Father's Day to all fathers, and not only my sons.